Yo, what's up, e-bike homies? Today we got a giant sync drive bike in the shop uh, with the Yamaha motor on it. And so I wanna talk about these proprietary batteries and how you can bypass them on a system like this where this customer um, didn't wanna keep replacing the battery with the really expensive um, uh, packs that they sell here. Uh, these things are really expensive and uh, they have a lot of um, different settings and communication sm smart features that really kind of limit what you can do with them so uh, I want to talk about how to bypass them when your battery is bad uh, in the case of this customer here his original pack here uh, after I opened it and checked it all it's completely dead the BMS is fried and the cells are bad um, I checked all the rails and all the voltages are way off so this pack smells funny and is definitely bad so i went ahead and disconnected it and cut all the connectors from it so i can try and put a different pack this is a newer style energy pack that the customer brought and he went and purchased this battery but the connector is not the same and it's not compatible and so i want to talk about that i did a little bit of research on the two types of packs and the wiring to see how they are different. And so you can see one of the wiring harnesses here for the newer style energy pack is totally different. Uh, the hot and cold are on the outside rails and the middle rails are for communication and charging. And so this is totally different. Um, then the older style so the older style is this guy which is the one this customer has um it's it's just different it, it's not gonna work so if it doesn't work with a different pack from the same brand and you're tired of having to deal with this and these packs older packs are really hard to find can you bypass it is the question so i did a lot of testing and the answer is yes you can bypass it so I wanna show you guys how to do that. Um, you're gonna to wanna to remove all the original components. It, it depends which bike you have. If you've got one of these with the rack battery, it's a lot easier. Some of them will have a battery integrated in the frame here, um, which you can still bypass and put a aftermarket Chinese battery in there, a shark battery, whatever battery you wanna use. Um, this one came off of a scooter. It's a 10 amp, uh, 36 volt battery. So what I did was I ignored all the other cables and I just took the positive and negative and ran those to my battery. My battery has a separate charge port that I installed here that still uses the XLR three pin for convenience for this customer and it charges just fine. And so what does it do if you bypass it? Simply what it'll do, I'll show you, we'll power it on. It'll blink like this, and you'll get a red blinking dot there. This is an error code, and depending on the values on these LEDs here, it'll tell you what kind of error is it. And if the first LED light blinking here is, 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 is the one that's blinking, that means that there's a battery communication error. So what are the other cables on these batteries do? So if it's charging, at this charge and charging port, the other thing it does is communicate with the uh, with the controller, and uh, it's supposed to be more efficient in the way that it draws energy. Um, I'm not exactly sure. That there's no real specs on what exactly it does, um, what the other rails do, but if you bypass it, um, I'll go ahead and read right off the manual here so you guys can see exactly what happens when you bypass it. So on the manual here, there is this system events. In case of a system malfunction, it'll show an indication, blah, blah, blah. So we can see LED one is battery issues. And so here it says, um, it's, here it says uh, that some assist power will stop on most system events most system events. So I wanted to know, is the bike still gonna go 
And the answer is yes. If you hold the light button, you can see that the lights still function. Lights still function. And I went out outside and test rode it and it still rides. It still rides even though it has no, uh, able, no, no way to select your speed level. It doesn't matter. It's stuck in full power mode. And so the bike functions perfectly normal. Uh, what I'll do is I'll hold walk mode here as an example and show you walk mode enabled. You can see it goes. I test rode it outside, it rides fine. This battery is fully charged. The battery level indicator still functions. The uh, lights still function. It still powers on and off. Um, so basically the only real feature that you're gonna lose is the ability to select speeds. Um, which is not that big a deal. The other feature you'll lose, which is also not that big a deal, is the app. And so I'll go ahead and go into the app here. Um, don't look at my password. <laughs> um, so if you go and download the Giant Ride Control app, we'll go ahead and log in and we'll go to Connected Devices. So there's the bike. I'll go ahead and hit connect. It'll say update available. Your giant e-bike must be updated before you could use the app. Let's go ahead and update. It just won't do anything. Um, so I'll go ahead and cancel it. And a few of the times that I kept trying to connect, it finally gave me an error and it said, that there was no battery data. So let's try and get that error to reappear. Let's hit connect. I'm gonna close that. But if you attempt it a few times, it'll say, it'll say that there is no battery data. I got the error once already. I'm not getting the error now. But that's basically it. That's the main issue. Um, what does this app do? It lets you see certain things, it lets you record your rides, it lets you change settings, update the firmware. So basically, your bike's going to be stuck on whatever firmware it was stuck on. Of course, you can always updated by connecting an original uh, battery back in and rewiring it. Um, I've gone ahead and just deleted all those cables. So in this case, this is a permanent installation. Um, this is convenient for this customer because of the price point for the repair. You know, this is gonna cost them half the price with labor than if you were to try and get one of these original packs. And you know, that's a big deal. Um, he already spent money on this other pack and it didn't work. So, you know, um, I mean, yeah, you'll lose a few features. Is it worth it? I think yes, because if you put a universal connector here, you can even have multiple batteries um, and you can stack as many as you want um, and, and it'll just work. So that's how you would bypass the system. For everyone that had questions on whether it would work or not, the answer is yes you're gonna lose a few features in the process, not a big deal. Um, and we can see here that uh, some people on some forums were saying that it controls lights, it controls this and that. But if you look at the actual wiring diagram here, um, it just, it all those extra cables do is communicate other information from the battery to the controller. And if you ask me, I don't know that that information, I feel like this is planned obsolescence, you know, to be honest, and proprietary type gimmicky stuff where they're just trying to get you to pay for their pack. You know, Bosch does this, Yamaha does this, and it's really, really annoying. And so I'm glad that I could get this bike going. Um, and if you guys want to do this, I'll post some links for some of the information and I'll add some pictures. Thanks guys.